The Aramaic and Palestinian Targum, Exodus chapter 32. But the people saw that Moshe delayed to come down from the mount, and the people gathered together unto Aaron. When they saw that the time he had appointed to them had passed, and Satana had come and caused them to err, and perverted their hearts with pride. And they said to him, Arise, make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moshe, the man who brought us up from the land of Mizraim, he may have been consumed in the mountain by the fire which flameth from before the Lord, and we know not what hath befallen him in his end. And Aaron said to them, Deliver the golden rings that are in the ears of your wives and sons and your daughters and bring them to me. And their wives denied themselves to give their ornaments to their husbands. And all the people at once delivered up the golden rings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he took them from their hands and bound them in a wrapper and wrought it with a tool having made a molten calf. And he said, These Israel are thy gods which brought thee forth from the land of Mizraim. For Aaron had seen her slain before him and was afraid. And he builded an altar before him, and Aaron cried with doleful voice and said, Let there be a feast before the Lord tomorrow of the sacrifice of the slain of these adversary, adversaries who were denied their Lord and have changed the story, sorry, and have changed the glory of the Shekinah of the Lord for this calf, Jerusalem. And Aaron saw her slain before him and was afraid, and he builded an altar before him and cried. And Aaron said, A feast. And on the following day they arose and sacrificed burnt offerings and the people sat around to eat and to drink and rose up to disport themselves with strange service Jerusalem and they rose up to disport themselves with strange service and the Lord said to Moshe descend from the greatness of thine honor for I have not given thee greatness except on account of Israel. But now thy people, whom thou didst bring up from the land of Mizraim, have corrupted their works. Quickly they have declined from the way which I taught them in Sinai. They, ye, shall not make yourselves image or figure or any similitude. For now they have made, a, made to them a molten calf and have worshipped it and sanctified to it sorry, and sacrificed to it, and proclaimed before it. These are thy gods, Israel, which brought thee up from the land of Mizraim. And the Lord said to Moshe, The pride of these people is manifest before me, and behold, it is a people of hard knack. And now cease from thy prayer, and cry not for them before me, for I will let my anger burn like strong fire against them, and consume them, and I will make thee a great people. And Moshe was shaken with fear and began to pray before the Lord his God. And he said, Wherefore should thy wrath, O Lord, prevail against thy people, whom thou didst bring up from the land of Mizraim with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Mizraim, who are remaining, say, it was for evil that he led them out, to kill them among the mountains of Tabor and Hermon and Syrian and Sinai and to destroy them from the face of the earth. Turn from thy strong anger and let there be relenting before thee over the evil that thou hast threatened to do unto thy people. Remember Abraham and Isaac and Israel, thy servants to whom thou didst swear in thy word, and did say to them, I will multiply your children as the stars of the heaven, and all this land of which I have told you, I will give to your sons, 
and they shall inherit forever. And there was relenting before the Lord over the evil which he, he had thought to do unto his people. And Moshe turned and went down from the mount with the two tablets of the testimony were in his hands, inscribed on there two sides, here and there they were inscribed. And the tables were the work of the Lord, and the writing was the Lord's writing inscribed and manifested upon the tablets. And Yahushua, which is Joshua, heard the voice of the people exulting with joy before the calf, Jerusalem, doing evil. And he said to Moshe, There is the voice of battle in the camp. And he said, It is not the voice of the strong who are victorious in battle, nor the voice of the weak who are overcome by the adversaries in the battle, but the voice of them who serve with strange service and who make merriment before it that I hear. Jerusalem, the voice of them who praise in strange service. And it was when Moshe came near the camp and saw the calf and the instruments of music in the hands of the wicked who were dancing and bowing before it, and Satana among them dancing and leaping before the people, the wrath of Moshe was suddenly kindled, and he cast the tablets from his hands, and he brake them on the foot of the mountain. The holy writing that was on them, however, flew and was carried away into the air of the heavens, and he cried and said, Woe upon the people who heard at Sinai from the mouth of the Holy One. Thou shalt not make to thyselves an image or figure or any likeness. And yet, at the end of forty days, make a useless molten calf. And he took the calf which they had made and burnt it in the fire and bruised it into powder and cast it upon the face of the water of the stream and made the sons of Israel drink. And whoever had given into any trinket of gold, the sign of it came forth upon his nostrils. And Moshe said unto Aaron, What did this people to thee, that thou hast brought upon them a great sin? And Aaron said, Let not my lords be angry, be strong. Sorry, let not my lords' anger be strong, nor knowest the people. Thou knowest the people, that they are the children of the just. But evil, couple of science, hath made them to err. And they said to me, Make us gods that may go before us, for this Moshe, the man who brought us up from the land of Mizraim, is consumed in the mountain by the flaming fire from before the Lord. And we know not what hath been done to him in his end. And I said to them, Whoever hath gold, let him deliver and give it to me. And I cast it into the fire. And Satana entered into it, and there came out of it the similitude of this calf. And Moshe saw that the people were naked, for they had been stripped by the hand of Aaron, of the holy crown, which was upon their head, inscribed and beautified with the great and glorious name. And that the evil report would go forth among the nations of the earth, and they would get to them an evil name unto their generations. Jerusalem. And Moshe saw the people that they were uncovered, for they had been stripped of the golden crown which was upon their head, whereon the name had been engraven and set forth at Mount Herob. And Moshe stood in the Sanhedrin gate of the camp and said, who feareth the Lord? Let him come to me. And there gathered to him all the sons of Levi, and he said to them, Thou hast said the Lord, the God of Israel, Whosoever hath sanctified to the idols of the Gentiles, let him be slain with the sword. And now go, pass through from the gate of the Sanhedrin to the gate of the house of judgment, in the camp and with prayer before the Lord that he will forgive you this sin. Take vengeance upon the wicked 
workers of strange worship and slay, even a man his brother, and a man his companion, and a man his neighbour. And the sons of Levi did according to the word of Moshe. And all and of the people who had the mark in their nostrils, there fell that day by the slaughter of the sword about the number of three thousand men. And Moshe said, Offer your oblation for the shedding of blood that is upon your hands, and make atonement for yourselves before the Lord, because you have smitten a man, his son or his brother, and that you may bring a blessing upon you this day. And it came to pass on the day following that Moshe said to the people, You have sinned a great sin, but now I will go up and will pray before the Lord. If happily I may obtain forgiveness of your sin. And Moshe returned and prayed before the Lord and said, I supplicate of thee, thou Lord of all the world, before whom the darkness is as the light. Now have this people sinned, a great sin, and have made to them gods of gold. But now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, forgive. But if not, blot me, I pray, from the book of the just, in the midst of which thou hast written my name. And the Lord said to Moshe, It is not right that I should blot out thy name, but whosoever sinneth before me, him, him I will blot from my book. But now, go lead the people to the place of which I have told thee. Behold, my angel shall proceed before thee. But in the day of my visitation, I will visit upon them their sin. And the word of the Lord plagued the people, because they had bowed themselves to the calf that Aaron had made. Blessed be his name. I hope you enjoyed this reading.